Hello, my name is Tessa, and I am going to show you today how to prepare an NMR sample for your practical NMR experiment. So first of all, you want to go ahead and grab an NMR tube out of your lab drawer, along with an NMR cap. And you're going to want to go ahead and clean it right away so that it will have time to dry. So you want to grab your bottle of acetone and go ahead and add some to the NMR tube itself. You then want to take a beaker and go ahead and turn the NMR tube upside down, protect the tip by holding it, and kind of tap it to get the acetone to come out. Then once all of your acetone is out, you're gonna go ahead and put it in an Erlenmeyer flask or a beaker upside down to allow it to finish drying. Uh, you wanna give it a little bit of time to make sure you get rid of any of the leftover acetone. Once that's done, you'll be able to take your nice clean NMR tube and prepare a sample to go in it. So you wanna take some of your sample solid and take a little bit of it and put it in a clean vial. Make sure to cap your sample so that it doesn't spill if you accidentally knock it over. And then you wanna take your deuterated uh, solvent and go ahead and add some in order to dissolve your sample. You want to make sure that all of the solid is dissolved before transferring to your NMR tube. Now that everything of your sample is dissolved, you can take a disposable pipette um, and draw up your sample carefully before transferring to your NMR tube. Once you have it in the NMR tube, you want to check the depth. You want to have three fingers worth of solvent in it. Uh, before capping and adding a label. The labels come in a sheet like this. There is a white portion where you will write the details of your initials, your lab section, uh, and the name of your sample uh, before peeling off one of them and adding it to your sample. Uh, so now that you have your NMR tube uh, with its sample and capped, you can take one of the NMR tube labels coming in a sheet like this. Uh, you can bend back this one portion in order to peel away the label. And after you've written everything on it, you wanna go ahead and put the white side on first, just below the NMR cap, and start to wrap it around so that the clear portion covers the portion that has the writing on it and will protect it. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't have any old NMR labels on there, so make sure to take those off before you add your label. Now that it's all labeled, you can go ahead and submit your NMR sample. Okay, so once you have your NMR tube ready, uh, you will come over to the uh, computer station in order to submit your NMR. There are going to be these racks here uh, where you can place your NMR sample. Uh, one of the things you want to pay attention to is the color of the rack. So this one is blue, for example. And then there is a number with an arrow pointing to the slot. So be careful that you uh, look at the right number for the slot that you're going to be putting it in. So I've got opening seven there. Uh, so you want to go ahead and take off your gloves since we are trying to keep the computers as glove-free areas. Uh, and then you will come over to the computer here and you want to make sure first that you find the right color uh, that matches the rack that you put your sample in. And then you want to find the right position before putting in all of your information. We do have a drop-down section or a drop-down box for the section. Uh, and then you will type in your initials, your email, your sample name, and then make sure you have your solvent and your experiment selected. Uh, once you're done with that, your sample is submitted and you should be done.